Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to rebrand your portal with the help of themes and customization. Rebranding is necessary because this helps in attracting the masses and gives your portal the rich feel. Let's start the quick steps for customizing the portal. Firstly, select themes and customization within settings option. A page will open up where you will have to enter all the fields as you can see first of all this is the name of your company I have taken as webcool because it's a company name here you can provide your domain name for your website I have taken as sys this is C name C name is a shorthand for canonical name what is canonical name Let's say you have a UV desk account where you keep all your reports online. It might be accessed through support at the rate example.com and you may also want to access it through webcool.example.com. So you will provide the C name over here. Let's say I am taking support. Let's say this system.uvtest.com. This is the enable and disable button. If you want to make all the changes reflected in the front end, then you have to enable that option. It will turn green. If you don't, then you will uh, observe nothing on the front end portal. This is the help desk logo. You can choose any file. Let's say I have selected this one. This is the favorite icon. Again, you can select from the files. Say I have taken this. This is the banner for your help desk account. With custom CSS option, you can change your portal view. Here you can set the colors for your account. You can select as per your choice. That's I'm selecting like this. Or you can set it by default also. In this option, the user can add JavaScript code for their domain. That's I'm providing any random data. This is the site description. Let's say Meta description and meta keywords are basically for improving the indexing of your site on the search engines. Let's say I'm providing customer support platform. Here you will provide keywords. Let's say help desk. customer guidance this is the home page content by clicking on down arrow you will see these two options folders with categories if you select this option then you will observe on the front end portal with folders and their categories by selecting popular and starred articles you will see the popular articles which have mostly read by the users that's why I'm selecting folders with categories ticket create option if you click on it you will see the option of ticket create on the top fold on the front end portal if you unmark this then you will not see that option for ticket creation 
that's why I'm selecting login required to create tickets with this the customer always have to log in first for creating any ticket if you unmark that option then the customer customer will don't have to log in every time for ticket creation after that click on save button your changes are now saved this is the front end portal icon click on it you will see the following changes which you have been made this is the ticket create option which you have marked this is the uh, company logo and this is your name of your company and this is the site description and this is folders with their categories option which you have selected here you can search any of your query thanks for watching this video